Suppose that we bring an object with temperature T0 into a room. If the temperature of the object, which is higher than the room with temperature A, meaning that the object T0 is more than the temperature at the room. Then the object will begin to cool down. The process is governed by the Newton's law of cooling. So this Newton law of cooling can be described in these equations here. The rate of change of temperature of an object is proportional to the temperature difference between the object and room. Now let's see uh, one example. The cooling laws problem. A cup of coffee is made with boiling water at temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. So in a room, the temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. So after two minutes, the coffee has cooled down to 80 degrees Celsius. So what is its temperature after four minutes? So we are going to use the cooling law to solve this problem. So based on the cooling law, the rate of change of the temperature of the coffee is proportional to the difference between the object room temperatures and the coffee temperatures. So we're going to separate this and make this equation into a separable equations. So we have dt divided by a minus t k dt. We integrate of both sides. Okay, integrations of 1 over a t you will get minus ln a minus t equal to k d plus c. Then we're going to multiply the exponential on both sides. Okay. Here we have this uh, a minus t. We have this uh, exponential minus k t plus c. Oh, exponential minus k t exponential c. So we can rewrite this into another arbitrary constant. We can rewrite it as c. So in that case, we have a minus t is equal to c exponential minus a t. So the temperature of the coffee is equivalent to a minus c exponential minus k t. So we're going to use these solutions to find the temperatures of the coffee after four minutes. But first we need to find what is what is C, right? We need to find what is C. So in this case, in that case, we find what is C. Okay. So we're going to use some of the uh, initial conditions. So initial conditions is given here, called as a given initial. Okay. Condition. So what is the initial conditions? So what we can see here, temperature at time t equal to zero, the coffee temperature is equal to 100 degrees Celsius. And the room temperature A is constant. It doesn't change. In our case, is 20 degrees Celsius. So we're going to substitute this into our solutions, which is T equal to A minus C exponential minus KT. So T is 100. A is 20 minus C exponential minus K. T is 0 times 0. So on this, we have 100 equal to 20 minus C. So C is equivalent to minus 80. Okay? So we're going to substitute this C over here. This case, which is T a is equal to 20 minus, so C is minus, we get positive, become 80 exponential minus K T, right? 
Now we need to find the red constant k. Okay, so the next step is find k. Okay, to find k, we're going to use some information given here. That is, after 2 minutes, it has cooled to 80 degrees Celsius. Then we know that at time t equal to 2 minutes, the coffee temperature is at the degree Celsius. So we're going to substitute this to the equations. T become 80. Here we have a 20 plus 80 exponential minus K. So T is become 2 minutes. Okay. So substitute into this, we can find what is the K value. Since we have one equation, one unknown, the K we can find is equal to 0. Point one four three n. So, so the temperatures of the coffee for this equation t equal to twenty plus eighty exponential minus k zero point one four three n and t. Now, what is the question? The question is that what is the temperature after four minutes? So that means at time t equal to four. At time t equal to four minute what is the temperature of the coffee so we just substitute the time into our particular solution so t is substituted by four then you will get the temperatures of the coffee which is equivalent to 65.007 degree celsius let's see another questions you take an ice cream out of the freezer. Which ice cream is kept at minus 18 degrees Celsius? And outside the freezer is 32 degrees Celsius. After one minute, the ice cream has warmed to minus 8 degrees Celsius. So what is the temperature of ice cream after five minutes? So let's see the solution. Let us plot the timeline. So in that case, that is, let's say at time t equal to zero, our ice cream temperature t is equal to minus 18 degree Celsius. Okay. So after one minute, that means at t equal to one minute, the temperature ice cream now is drop is increased to minus eight degree Celsius. So the question is, what is the temperature of the ice cream when T is equal to 5 minutes? So we need to find what is the temperature. Okay. So in these questions, we know that the room temperature is 32 degrees Celsius. So we're going to use okay, cooling law. When you use cooling law to solve this problem, so the cooling law for this is denoted as the rate of change of the ice cream dt is equivalent to proportional to the temperature difference between the room temperatures and the ice cream. So we're going to take the uh, separable form of this. We get this a minus t and here is uh, dt. And we integrate both sides. Here we get a C. So integrating of this, uh, then we get a minus ln of A minus T. Here we get KT plus C. Okay, so we have ln. We multiply the uh, equation with minus. We get minus KT minus C. And then so we take the exponential, multiply the exponential on uh, both side okay then we have uh, a minus t equal to exponential minus kt exponential minus c okay so this exponential minus c can be substituted with one variable okay let's say we substitute this variable with c right so in that case then uh, we have uh, a minus t is equal to c exponential minus kt. So we can rewrite this 
as temperature of the ice cream is followed by these equations A plus C exponential minus K T right so we're going to use these uh, general solutions to find what is the temperature of the ice creams after five minutes okay so we're going to use this general solution here this we did not as uh, general solutions okay so now we try to solve this we need to find what is the c value okay so the next is we want to find the arbitrary constant the c value so to find the c values we will be given by the initial condition that is at time t equal to zero the temperature of the ice cream is equivalent to minus 18 degree celsius okay so we're going to substitute this value into the general solutions into this equation here which is t equal to a plus c exponential minus k t to find c right so t equal to minus 18 a is the outside temperatures in this is equal to 32 then plus c exponential minus k at time t equal to zero so this will give us uh, to one on this side okay so this will be equal to one right so in that case we have uh, minus 18 equal to 32 plus c so we get the c values which is minus 50 minus 50 okay so then so we know the t is equal to a minus 50 exponential minus kt right so in that case we still need to find uh, the k value okay so the next step is we want to find uh, the k value okay so next step we're going to find the k value Okay. So to find the k value, we're going to use the second uh, information. That is, at time t equal to one minute. What is the temperature of the ice cream in questions, which is equal to minus eight degrees Celsius? We're going to use this information to find the k value. So we substitute this. So substitute into this equation t equal to a minus 50 exponential minus kt so here we have minus 8 a is 32 minus uh, 50 exponential minus k and then the time is 1 okay so solving this we get minus 40 is equal to minus 50 exponential minus k then we get the k value is equivalent to 0 0.2 two three one okay now we can answer the the, the the questions okay we can answer the questions which is the temperature of the ice creams after t equal to five minutes so that mean the t is equal to 32 minus 50 exponential minus 0 0.2 two three one and multiply by five minutes okay so that you give you a uh, 15.61 degree celsius